Welcome back to Golfing the Tri-State Oak Meadow Country Club. Right here on, is it Browning Road? Browning Brian? Road, yep. Brian Myrick, class of 99, Central High School, right here, PGA professional. Thanks for having us out, Thank buddy. Thank you. Thank you. I really was scared to death when I heard, Oak Meadow's closed? What? We had the show scheduled. I think we all were. It was, uh, it was a little bit of a nervous time, but uh, we made it through it, and it's, uh, it's going really well. It's all worked out stronger than ever and a, a real good commitment for this course. I mean, you're going to make the course great. You're going to make the clubhouse fantastic. Absolutely. They've, uh, they've already started doing some renovation on the course. Trees are down. Uh, we got all the dead trees out there, so it's really looking really good. It is looking good. I got a chance to come out and play, and I've been a member here, like I said, for quite a while. Love this golf course. If you want to be good, you golf Oak Meadow. Right, it's, Brian? It's tough. It's one of the longest courses in the, uh, in the area, and it's, uh, it's a challenge. Now, when you got the call, to be the pro out here, you had to almost like do it in your shorts. <laughs> you know Absolutely. how we love yeah, golf well, and love Oak Meadow. I mean, wasn't that a? Day it was. And a half? I actually uh, actually played college golf here for U of E, and we was, this was our home course. So to actually come back here and uh, be in my hometown, I was away for ten years, so it was really nice to uh, to come back and take the opportunity. Really, mm -hmm. what was it like playing college golf? It was good. It was a challenge between, you know, balancing between uh, playing and, and, and going to school. And, but it was fun. Got to travel a lot of places, uh, Florida, play against some good players. So it was a lot of fun. Was Jim Hamilton your coach then? He was. Yeah, he was? Jim Hamilton was my coach. Good yeah. guy. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Tell me about the history of Oak Meadow. When did it all start? It was back in uh, 1971. Actually, it was a group of uh, members from ECC, Evansville Country Club, and they, uh, they wanted to kind of expand the course over here to the McCutcheonville area. Huh. And they brought in uh, Dick Heath, who was the, uh, the candy bar guy. The Heath candy yeah, bar yeah, dude. Absolutely. So wow. he, uh, he, brought, he was brought in, uh, kind of backed it a little bit, and then it opened up in uh, 1972 is when it opened to the members. Really? Mm -hmm. What do you think of the course layout? I, it's my favorite, I think. What, What's your favorite holes? Uh, you know, you it's like kind of a course where you can use every club in the bag, which is which is great. I mean, it's got some long par threes, some short par threes. Uh, you know, I think the, I think number nine is the toughest, one of the toughest holes in the area. Uh, from the back tees, it plays over 465 yards or something like that. So it's uh, it's very challenging. Now we were talking about Joe's scorecard, and are you going to play with me for Joe's I guess scorecard so. today? I guess I'll play. <laughs> That's great, <laughs> Brian Myrick beside me. So, and you were talking about maybe doing hole nine. Yeah, we a good, I think I think that would be a good challenging hole for you to do. I that's, think, uh, that's the green you see behind us. I think I can take you on that one. Can you take <laughs> me on that one? You can take me anywhere, I tell you what. So hole nine will be our Joe Scorecard hole. Yeah, we're going to try it. That's a toughie. It's a par five for the ladies, I know. It is. It's all uphill. Uh, the back tees, like I said, the gold tees back there plays really long. And every all the uh, first shot and second shot are all uphill. So it's a very, very long hole, very long hole. Tell me about your day out here. Now, I know you have quite a few members. People have rejoined yeah. after Oak Meadow opened, reopened. What, what's your day like? Do you? Well, uh, you know, we, we've got a lot of stuff going on. with the. We have ladies, ladies' days on Tuesdays and Wednesday. We have our men's league actually starting tonight. Um, and we do, uh, we do like MGA events pretty much once, once a month, uh, member, 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 guest, things like that. Um, so it's kind of like organizing all those uh, activities that we're trying to do as far as the golf goes. Um, but it's, it's, like I said, it's going really well. Neat. And I'm, I'm sure you give lessons. We do lessons, yep. Uh, do lessons, half hour, an hour. Um, you know, as we get, we're actually doing junior golf too. We started this year as well. So that's uh, part of the lesson side too. Fantastic. The, the back is, and they don't call it Oak Meadow for nothing. <laughs> yeah, there are a few trees and it is hard. It is. It's it is. long and hard. Do you like the back, back nine? Uh, yeah, actually, I, I prefer the back a little bit better um, because I don't have to hit driver off every hole, so I can <laughs> I can right. I can play a hybrid down the middle or something and be able to hit the fairway. So That's I like neat. that a little better. Really, is the par threes here are great? Oh, absolutely. We have a couple of challenging holes. Uh, number 17 is one of our kind of our signature holes. It's almost like an island green, if you will, with water on all sides of it. So pretty neat hole. Speaking of the greens, the greens here at Oak Meadow are like no other course. They're so good, they're fast. What kind of grass is? They are just greens? a typical bent grass green, but I mean, like you said, some of the, the some of the slopes and undulations, especially on the front side, uh, number five and number six are probably one of the toughest toughest greens in the, in the area. Uh, very difficult. If you can go around this course and not three putt, you did uh, really well. Your ground crew is awesome. Now we're gonna have tip of the week coming up with Brian Myrick here at Oak Meadow Country Club. And what kind of tip are we going to do today? We're going to do a backswing tip. Backswing. So we can help you out there. Fantastic. We haven't had a backswing <laughs> tip yet. Oat Meadow Country Club, 
Golfing the Tri-State with Brian Myrick, back right after this. The IBEW Local 16 and NECA, the Southern Indiana chapter of the National Electrical Contractors Association, want you to know about the quality difference of union electricians, a direct result of the ongoing superior training our electricians receive. It eliminates mistakes and saves you time and money. Non-union contractors cannot offer the high quality of training provided by our joint electrical, JATC. NECA and IBEW Local 16. Hi, I'm Brian Myrick, PGA Pro at Oak Meadow Country Club. I'm so happy to say we're back under new ownership and better than ever. We're making everything new and more enjoyable. You will love dining in our fantastic restaurant. There's Mulligan's Lounge after a great round of golf, tennis match, or dip in the pool. And of course, the greatest golf course in the area. Okay, we're a bit biased. We think you will too. Oak Meadow Country Club, come play. The Southwestern Indiana Building and Construction Trades Council. Building the Tri-State with unmatched quality and precision. Tri-State business trusts the building trades to get projects done on time and under budget. The Southwestern Indiana Building and Construction Trades. Hometown people with outstanding integrity who are your friends and neighbors, drug free and ready to deliver. And how they have delivered. Trust them for your next project. I'm having a contraction! I'm having a contraction! We're in labor. The book says you should stay calm. But this is our first kid and we've chosen to panic. Gun it! For the baby. Here it comes! Out of mommy's way! So get an Allstate agent. Mayhem is everywhere. Are you in good hands? Call Dan Jost for a quote today. The Equipment Connection, Highway 57 just west of Daylight is your connection for fun. The Equipment Connection specializes in the Tri-State's greatest golf carts, customized for golf and fun. Golf carts for home, farm, and the golf course. The Equipment Connection can even make your cart street legal. The Equipment Connection, Highway 57 Daylight, your connection for fun. Brian Schmidt and his family know about golf and fun. The Equipment Connection. Promark is a leading custom screen printing and embroidery company specializing in all types of custom products to get your business noticed. We offer a full service art department, in-house screen printing, embroidery, and even roll label production. And because we are locally owned, our clients benefit from quicker turnaround time and direct contact with the most knowledgeable customer service available in the industry. Call Promark and let us assist you in finding a product that will help you promote your company. Promark, we sell attention. Welcome back to Golfing the Tri-State at Oak Meadow Country Club with Brian Myrick, the PGA Pro here. This is tip of the week and a backswing tip. We're going to try backswing today. We're going to look at the, uh, the target line and how we can actually get away from the target line, believe it or not. This is so neat. I haven't seen a backswing tip before. What are you going to show us? Well, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's come up here and we'll kind of demonstrate. I have a club on the ground, which is going to kind of demonstrate our target line. Obviously, when you when you hit the ball, it's kind of our imaginary line that's not there. Mm -hmm. But what we're going to look at is when you take the club back of not trying to stay along the target line because that's what's going to affect what your body does. Okay. So if you want to jump up there, I'll uh, okay. kind of take you through it a little bit. So if, if, if he has the club, club head on the, uh, right on top of that club there, that's our, where we're going to start. Now what happens is most people will tend to take the club back and keep it along that line. And when you do that, you tend to kind of slide your weight to the right. Right. Okay? I can feel my whole body. Yeah. So when, it, when you tend to move the club along the line, your body is going to follow in that position. Now, vice versa, if I take it and I take the club and move it away from that target line, you see how it gets more of a turn right. and that right pocket ends up more behind you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So realistically, it's within the first couple feet of what's going to happen to your body and how your legs are going to react to that. Okay. Does that make sense? So more circular. Yeah, it's funny. You have to actually swing in a circle for it to go straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that funny? <laughs> that's great. Well, that's a, that's a great tip. And you're saying a lot of amateurs 
go back straight. Yeah, a lot and of times. And then they get kind of up here like this. Absolutely. And so that's, you see how that's going to affect what you do at the top. You end up having yeah. to lift the club in the air versus let the club just set up over your shoulder. Right. I see a lot of guys do that. They get up here like this. Yeah, and it's more yeah. from that first few feet back where they take it back straight and they get out of position. And they have, the only thing they can do from there is kind of lift the club. Okay. In the backswing. So that's, that's very, very important to actually get away from the target line in your backswing. So I always tell people you want to get away from it as fast as you can and you want to stay away from it as long as you can actually. Right. So you never want to stay along or hit that target line until you hit that ball and then, and then after you hit it, it's back to the inside again. Okay, I've got a question. Sure. It regards the backswing. You see John Daly and all these guys come all the way back like this, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever that's called, extension or... <laughs> kind of corkscrewing themselves in the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, past 90 yeah. degrees, yeah, don't yeah, they say? Yeah. Is that important? I mean, or wh where do you say stop? Well, I, you know, the ideal position would be if we get to the club, you know, at parallel to the ground. Right. You know, everything past that is really, you know, unnecessary, if you will. Um, uh -huh. Like Phil Mickelson used to have a real big backswing as well. You could really almost see his, his club in the, in the, as he made a backswing, you could see his club. Now he's kind of shortened that up a little bit. So I think all that past parallel ends up being a little bit, you know, Get you off balance, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Well, it could. Yeah. Now, obviously, those guys do it at a, such a good level that they can repeat that, you know, a lot, a lot easier than you and I could. You mentioned <laughs> so. Phil Mickelson, another good southpaw. That's right. He's my Ryan's favorite. a southpaw yeah. from uh, Central High School and U of E. Well, why don't you hit one for us? Sure. Do, do the sure. I'll just kind of show what we were okay. we were talking about. But it's basically I just have a seven iron here. Okay. But as I take the club back, just notice how it's a little bit more round, and I'm not going straight back. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Man, he hit that seven iron too. <laughs> <laughs> that went a long way. Awesome. You think should you can I, do should it? I try one? I think you can do it. Okay. We'll take the club away. Take my imaginary <laughs> line away. Okay. There we go. Okay. So start back more this way. Don't want to yeah. hit the camera back here. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know where it went. Just a little left. A little left, okay. But it's a tight fairway. It's hard. Didn't to want to hit Will. <laughs> Will Firestone's going, "Hey, who's she shooting at me?" <laughs> That's an awesome tip, buddy, and uh, really appreciate it. We're going to go play Joe's scorecard. All right. Coming up in the next segment, we're going to talk with Kathy Cap from here at Oak Meadow about membership and about some of the different features of Oak Meadow Country Club. The pool, the tennis courts are fantastic. Kathy Cap coming up. And then Brian's going to do Joe's scorecard on whole nine. We'll do it. All right. Thank you. At Oak Meadow Country Club, golfing the tri-state.